Hello, I'm Tom Harris with today's Climate Change Minute. Most carbon dioxide in the atmosphere comes from natural sources. Let's take a look at the balance of carbon dioxide by examining its production and its consumption around the world. The major sources of carbon dioxide are animal and micro decomposition, ocean release, and vegetation respiration. The oceans contain the greatest amount of carbon dioxide on Earth. When the water warms, carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere because warm water can hold less dissolved carbon dioxide. The production from natural sources totals approximately 772 gigatons per year. By contrast, the amount produced by humans is a mere 29 gigatons per year, which is just 3.6% of all carbon dioxide produced. Now, let's take a look at the consumption of carbon dioxide. Land and plant absorption combined with the oceans amounts to approximately 788 gigatons taken out of the atmosphere every year. Thus, natural production of carbon dioxide is less than natural consumption. The amount of carbon dioxide varies in the atmosphere, and the numbers I just cited are averages. These vary over the years due to natural cycles. But if production of carbon dioxide were to be consistently lower than its consumption over many years, it could lead to the starvation of plants, ending all life on Earth. It's very possible that humanity's production of carbon dioxide will become crucial in preventing such a catastrophe. As it is, the imbalance is only 13 gigatons per year, or 1.6%. We should not worry about humanity's impact on atmospheric carbon dioxide levels. Even if we were to double our emissions, it would still be dwarfed by vast natural sources. To learn more about this and other topics in climate change, please visit icsc-canada.com.